Hello, <laughs> good morning. Beautiful day here in Nagasaki, so I thought I'd spend it indoors with the curtains drawn, making another Lemmy video, because why not? This is the second one where I'm just gonna look at, I'm gonna take a Motorhead song to look at sort of Lemmy's bass playing technique, and you know, arguably for just heavier bass playing in general with a plectrum, which Lemmy kind of, well, certainly developed, if not invented, but you know, de definitely made his own. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, I don't wanna do too, I'm not, outstay my welcome on these things but it, there's a few songs i can think of which really illustrate a couple of you know lemmyisms as i call them and one song in particular is one of my top favorites the no sleep to hammersmith version of motorhead live motorhead motorhead title track um let's turn the amp on because it's a bit it's just not too bad today it's not a bit noisy it's the intro um you know thank you very much good night i mean originally this track was recorded of hawkwind it was a lot sort of a lot mellower i mean but let me if you see old hawkwind let me kind of the bass right up quite high up and it wasn't you know that overdriven or anything it's quite sort of mellow um a lot, lot lot of drone strings type stuff and that but you know when motorhead he sort of as his mic got higher his bass got lower um Anyway, but yeah, that's, that's on the on the Hawkwind version of that. I mean, there's a violin solo on it, so it's uh, you know it's more sort of I'm just doing one of the ways to play. There's two ways to play it, and think I don't know if you play it this way. This is the octave one. So I mean, I'll show this. I don't because when I've seen the, when I've seen a video of Motive playing this, like at the birthday party '85, he plays it. Um, oh, I'll do the, the way they normally did it. He did it which was octaves on the so open bottom E and seventh fret on the A string, octaves. And that, uh, but when he played in mode, there's a lot more sort of, you know, aggressive, you know. Not much, he's letting the two notes bleed into each other there, the two strings, there's next to no palm muting or anything. So if we slow it down on the that one. So that's the basic rhythm is. There's your sort of your turn around. Without, the, without dropping down to the sort of the approach note. And then when he does the back up, lean back up to the E, he's, he's choking the bottom E using the fingery frets on the fifth fret of the A string. Um, apologies always for the uh, abysmal camera work. Uh, but hopefully you can see what it is. He's actually choking the, the E, so he can hit. But he can hit, hit. He can hit. He hasn't got to sort of worry about sort of missing the E to play the the A string. He can just you know. And then he takes it back off. But the tip of the finger. That's a great trick. That is. And soon enough, I mean, this assumes you're just starting out, or you know, you're not that far along in your bass playing journey but pretty soon you do that um subconscious subconsciously automatically instinctively uh, you don't have to really think about it but there it's you know all, all breaks are off everything's going i mean when i first heard it i thought it was like the ace of spades gone wrong or something in the intro you know the way i used to play that live and... So going back to what's at the start, I don't know if in the Hawkwind he did the octaves, it's, it just sounds mellow and that kind of... I don't know. But that's how to play it using the, the octave. I mean, it's harder this way. It's harder that way, but you kind of have, ultimately you have more, once you get a hang of it, you kind of have more control over it, really. That's kind of... So that's the intro to uh, Motorhead. Uh, the, the chorus, um, sorry, the verses, you know, it's a, 
The only thing we need to say about that was, uh, as always, with Lemmy was kind of looking to thicken the sound at every sort of available opportunity. So we might, for the going dropping down to the D, you might well do the. Uh, thing you know the drone the drone string open d seventh fret on the g which was always one of his favorites um but it's kind of just a, you, know, you can practice that slow right down you know it's got a sort of it sounds really funny when you talk about a motor tom it's almost like a sort of bumbling beat <laughs> just sped up loads because you know, if you slow it down it's like that sort of thing so it's sort of, you know when you speed it up and stick it through you've got a Marshall stack that you know it takes its own um, but then I want to look at the second thing of this song the two main points one was the intro riff and the the second thing is the the power chord um, the build up to the chorus and the actual chorus itself because often power chords being used in this bass power chords I've done another video just on power chords but anyway this is one for motorhead Power chords on the bass, uh, they really work on the top two strings. They can get a bit muddy the further down you go. And you know, I mean, you can play an E power chord, uh, seventh fret on the A, and then fret the ninth frets so using a little finger, ninth, ninth, and you, I mean, you can hit every string. That was quite a lemmy one, actually, when he used to come, you know, how you doing? When they came out and they just sort of be, you know, before we did, you know, we're motored and we're gonna kick your ass or whatever. It's, he quite often do sort of, that sort of thing but anyway for the motorhead riff it's, it's quite tightly controlled on the top two top two strings um, it's C and the A so we've got a 10th fret on the D 12th fret on the G sliding down to the 7th fret and the 9th fret you know can't get enough and you know it's righteous stuff Goes up like prices at Christmas. And then just to accentuate the 12 bar. Great exercise for the, the, the little finger. And when I started the guitar, I got this book and it was by an American guitarist. She kept saying, use your pinky on this. And I didn't know what the fuck. I remember that. Sorry, it's a little anecdote there, but I just did not know what the hell a pinky was. It bothered me for months. That's that 12, 12 bar. Again, it's one of those things that's great just to isolate and practice by itself because it, 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 when you're not used to it, it will hurt very quickly, but it builds up, you know, strength and dexterity and all that. But for that, it's power chord. I can't get enough. And then for the actual uh, chorus, oh, just an E. 7th fret I mean, you might even do the power chord 7th fret and ninth fret though they can sound very quickly very muddy so and, and I always say anyone who watches these videos regularly roll their eyes at me going about this again but let me you know he chose his moments he didn't just you know hit power chords all the time so let's go single note 7th fret on the E string power chord again for the A and again, you could act, you could stick in the open A here to play it across three strings. But I think when he was doing vocals, it was more sort of when Eddie was doing the solo. Maybe then he's, he he might even do the the E power chord thing, you know. <laughs> Back up to the power, uh, back up to the 12 bar thing, but just for the moment, just for if it's young. Then the, the B. Right, this is the 12 bar. But then you've got the stretch there. Uh, 
Was kann wir wenn er von hier? Uh, that was either doubled by Eddie or he, Eddie did that great sort of slide down and back into the main riff while Lemmy covered it. I, I, firstly, I mean, they did do this after. They did, they did Motorhead quite a few times with the two guitarists in the sort of mid 80s. Um, but in my humble opinion, I, it just didn't work. It was one of those songs, another one of my talking points, but it was a swing filthy animal Taylor had. It just didn't work for me. With t it's it's kind of yeah. So I'll always refer to it as Eddie because, and also Eddie knew with a bass player like Lemmy, Eddie could back off at certain points, and that really helped the song uh, sort of breathe, as it were. Which sounds funny talking about you know Motorhead, but it did actually. You know Eddie would pull back when if he'd been playing as well. I think it would have been too much, which was sometimes the two guitarists. But anyway, it was uh, so. There's your, there's your killer stretch. So you've got the power chord B, little finger first of all onto the uh, 13th fret, but then you've got to get to the 14th. So just try that. It's, it, it might be frustrating at first. It's gonna hurt. It's, gonna, it's a hell of a stretch. Um, but you should be able to do it. Because you've got to be able to play this note cleanly and also get to that. I mean, if you've got, if there's any reason you, you really can't do it, I mean, anything from, you know, very small hands to maybe some mobility issues, then just, you know, big deal, just nick, nicks off that top note. Just. wing it so that's the power chords and the intro riff there for Motorhead Motorhead the song again I was trying to keep it under 10 minutes it's gone over 12 there um, so I hope you got something from that cheers <laughs>